Georgians deserve the chance to support themselves and their families by having access to the resources they need to not just make ends meet, but to thrive. However, Georgia leaders are pushing for a bill that would mostly benefit the wealthiest and jeopardize our state's ability to fund the resources and programs that matter most to us. That's House Bill 1437. At first glance, you'll see that House Bill 1437 raises the standard deduction offered to all taxpayers and eliminates itemized deductions for personal income taxes. Seems like it would benefit Georgia families, right? But the catch is that it also includes a flat tax, which would increase the cost of this legislation by $645 million annually. The best way to understand how the flat tax changes our tax code is by looking at our current tax code. Although it is antiquated, it operates as a graduated income tax, but a flat tax structure would tip the scales on our tax code so that on average, the wealthiest get a tax cut 166 times that of what low income Georgians would get back from their tax cut. This is unfair to a majority of Georgians and would hit black and brown Georgians hardest by worsening racial inequities and expanding the racial wealth gap. We need to stop the flat tax, and we can do so by making these changes to the bill. We can get rid of the flat tax, keep graduated tax rates that increases income does, and include an earned income tax credit, like the Georgia Work Credit. The Georgia Work Credit would put money back into the pockets of Georgia's low and middle income families and ensure that every Georgian gets a chance at economic opportunity. Rather than focusing the state's efforts on making the rich richer, let's work together to make the tax code equitable for all Georgians. You can learn more about the Georgia Work Credit at georgiaworkcredit.org.